quick plus one year a uh, review for my gaming laptop Hasi um, the uh, G8 PS7 S1 um, so to start off I'm gonna talk about my overall feeling for the laptop then I'm gonna talk about the cons because everyone wants to know what's wrong with the laptop and then I'm gonna summarize uh, with the with the pros so overall feeling cons pros and maybe like a quick conclusion uh, so overall feeling after over a year um, pretty satisfied with, with my purchase um, I mean the performance are pretty solid uh, I can play uh, all my favorite games uh, on, on this laptop pretty much in uh, uh, high setting, ultra setting, depending on the game. Uh, one of my favorite game being uh, Armor Free, um, and I also play like normal game. So that said, now I want to talk about the cons. The cons I mentioned, I will mention this video are pretty much the same that the one I mentioned before, but um, in the you know like the uh, introduction video. But like uh, now because I've played that computer a little bit more longer, I can talk a little bit more about the cons. So in terms of cons, I would say the number one con for this for this laptop. Is its weight and uh, the fact that it's really bulky. Uh, I do not carry this laptop uh, with me when I go to the park or when I go to I don't know to a pub or whatever. This laptop is very heavy and very inconvenient to carry. Uh, it cannot fit in uh, you know like a long bag. It cannot fit. It's, it can't be carried around. It's really heavy. So this, this is not convenient for people who wants to take the, the laptop with them, uh, uh, move around with the laptop. Uh, to give you an idea, the only time I take a laptop is, for example, when I go traveling over two weeks. Uh, yes, I can take my laptop. Uh, but if I go travel uh, for a day or two or three, or three days or less than a week, I just leave my laptop home because it's so fun, it's so inconvenient to carry that laptop around. Why? Because it takes a lot of weight in your luggage, it takes a lot of space in your luggage. Um, it's really not inconvenient. And I'm just talking about the laptop, I'm not even talking about the battery here that just weighs a million ton tons as well. So very inconvenient to carry around. Uh, that's number one uh, issue I've noticed with that laptop. Uh, however, as I mentioned, uh, when I go for a trip, whether it's business trip or whether it's a, a normal trip, for over a week, I can take it with me. Because if I stay in a hotel room for a week, uh, last time I was in uh, I was in Asia, I just took that laptop with me because I stayed there two weeks, and that was perfectly fine. I was on holiday on the beach, and I was playing games in my room. That was really cool. Uh, but uh, I went on a trip as well um, somewhere in China and that was just for a few days and I was like I'm not carrying the laptop with me, it's too much fun, it's too complicated. So yeah, you got the idea, the weight and bulkiness of the laptop is a massive con. Uh, number two con is this computer tends to overheat. Uh, and let me be more specific, it tends to overheat quickly. It doesn't overheat crazy, but it overheats quickly. That is why I have bought a pad. I should have put it here. I'm, I maybe I'll include a picture or something, in, in, and I'll do a montage and I'll, and I'll include a picture in it. I've, I've bought a, a, a fan, basically a pad, that cools down the computer, so I put it below, below the laptop. 
uh, and I, I always place myself nearby a window so uh, some winds can blow on the computer. Um, I haven't had any issue with overheating per se, like uh, any technical issue with the laptop. Um, but with my former laptop, which was MSI, I know that some component, they melted down because of the heat. So with this laptop, because it's, I love it, it's very good and, and still I pay quite a lot of money for it. Uh, I, want, I want it to be careful with it, I want it to control uh, the temperature down, so I bought, a, I bought a special fan to cool it down and I always place myself uh, near windows. So I keep uh, you know, the, the, the temperature on. And the way you know if your laptop is overheating or not, just place your hand here. It's not specifically uh, overheating now, because I, I haven't launched any programs or games, but uh, when, when I do play games, yeah, it does end up in a very quick manner. Um, so summarize, uh, place yourself next to a window, buy a cool pad uh, to cool down your laptop, uh, put the aircon on, I put the aircon in my room to help the laptop to cool down. Uh, that's, that's, those, those are very important tips if you, wanna, uh, if you don't want to have like technical issues with this laptop. Um, the uh, other issue I have with this laptop, this is number three con, uh, is maybe the language. As I said before, this laptop is all written in Chinese. Uh, so sometimes I get confused and uh, I just give up. For example, I had to, for example, I want to change the password of this laptop because uh, I want to change it. But like, I'm so afraid of not understanding like one of the, one of those characters. Uh, and my ex-girlfriend is not around no more, so I'm like, fuck it, I just keep the old password. Just because I'm kind of afraid to, you know, screw up with the password and get stuck, and I don't want that to get uh, too complicated. So that's one of the of the issue. But I suppose once again, if you buy the laptop uh, in your home country, I'm pretty sure it's going to be converted into your language. But I'm talking about a laptop that I bought in China with very competitive uh, prices. Remember the price was like uh, 10,000 renminbi, which is well, uh, less than 1,000 or around 1,500 euro instead of 2,000, something like that. Uh, so it's, it's good for the price, it's good for the component, but for the language, uh, I heard there's nothing you can do about it. Anyway, uh, language might pose a problem for you, although, although over the years, I got used on using the program in Chinese, which means sometimes I don't understand all the characters, but like I kind of recognize them and I know oh, I click here, uh, I know it's gonna open this window or I click here, it's gonna close it. So now I got used to it, like, and, and it's okay. Apart from sensitive stuff like changing the password or stuff like that, I mean, it's fine. For the price, if you pay the same price I did for this laptop, just go for it, you'll get used to it. And forget about the character, just imagine those are pictures, not characters. And try to remember the shape of the picture, or the content of the picture, and next time you just click on it. Or you ask a friend to, a Chinese friend to help you out with, uh, with, with the computer at first and you deal with it later. Alright, and then I want to talk about number four, which are technical, technical problems with the laptop. Yeah. So this laptop had a couple of technical problems, uh, not, not, not many big ones, uh, but one of those technical problems was like blue screens. Uh, let's say it's been a year and a half that I bought this computer and I had maybe 10 blue screens. So usually when I play late at night, uh, maybe for a long time and you know, big games or triple uh, A games and it takes a lot of resources from the computer boom uh, blue screen but it happened just a couple of times I mean over a year and a half it's very very little um, yeah apart from that I mean I have my friends are always mocking me because this computer is really big that might be another count uh, they say oh fuck your computer is really massive bro uh, and I'm like, yeah, but it, it's way better than your computer, man, trust me. So, well, it's just a minor con, but it's just the look is a 
really bulky. It's not very, it's not very sexy. Um, I was talking about uh, fingerprints as well in my review. This I'd like to remove it because now I don't wash my computer anymore because I play I play games every day. Uh, but um, like yeah, the, you can you can tell I put my hands here around here and you can see like some of the marks. But overall, it's, it's pretty okay, uh, I suppose. Uh, so I would like to take down that counts because it's not it's actually doesn't really matter. Like it's up to you if you want to wash it or not, and it's not really that obvious that there are some fingerprints there. I mean, yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. I think for the cans, I can't think of any uh, any other thing. Like massive, massive issues like the weight, the bulkiness of this computer, um, and maybe it tends to overheat quickly. Uh, so you'd have to place yourself in your room next to the window, make sure there's some fresh air coming in. Uh, those are the main two big issues I had with this laptop. Uh, now I want to give my overall feeling. I think, uh, honestly, um, I'm going to wait for my favorite game to come out, which is going to be in 2020. Uh, uh, Armor 4, if it ever comes out, or... Uh, I don't know, the Elder Scrolls 6 or whatever. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna buy another laptop from Hasi because I am so satisfied with the quality. Uh, and I wanna, I wanna mention, I am not paid by Hasi. I mean, I have my own job and shit. I don't give a shit about Hasi. If it was bullshit, I would just, I would just say. So I am not paid by them. Uh, I'm just, I just wanted to do that review because not a lot of people know about this computer. And I've checked on the internet um, and there was not so many reviews about Hasi, so I was like, fuck it, let's, let's have a go and uh, let's talk about Hasi a little bit. So I'm happily surprised for this computer. I've been playing this, on this for over a, a year and I'm very satisfied. And I'm telling you, um, unless there's a major, major problems by 2020 with this laptop, uh, I'm gonna, surely I'm gonna buy a new laptop. I mean, as soon as Armor 4 is coming out, coming out I'm gonna buy <laughs> I'm gonna buy a new laptop because man this game is my favorite game. Uh, let me review the games I have. Um, those are not the games that I necessarily play or my favorite games, but those are the, the recent games that I have installed. So Armor Free, uh, Tropico, pretty you, you can play Max Out, Max Out, uh, Tom Clancy's I haven't played yet, uh, Max Out Graphism for Verdon, uh, Crusader Kings Max Out. Uh, this is completely maxed out. Titan Quest, uh, maxed out as well. Crazy Taxis for sure is like completely maxed out. Uh, Transport Fever. I've noticed some bugs. Uh, not some bugs. Some um, some um, some slowdowns time to time. But I think it might be due to the game. Uh, the Witcher 3 was like very smooth, very smooth, like amazing. Same for Deus Ex. Very smooth. Uh, Kingdom uh, Come Deliverance was very smooth, I think it was high or very high or ultra. Uh, Valkyria uh, Chronicle maxed out. Uh, uh, this one, uh, House of Dying Sun maxed out. Edge of Empire 3 completely maxed out. I mean, you know, like some people were like, oh yeah, why don't you uh, show some super, like, you know, the latest game and shit with the, you know, I mean, I don't usually play a triple A game that I know exactly what I'm looking for. And, but I'm, I think if you can play armor free smoothly in ultra, I mean, most of the game can run easily on this laptop. And that's, that's what's happening with armor free. I mean, it's, it's kind of smooth and armor free is really badly optimized. So yeah. Uh, so overall, very good laptop. Uh, I mean, for the price I bought it, always remember the price. The price is very important. Like, really good, really good purchase, I think, for myself. So far, I, had, I haven't had any technical issues with this laptop. And um, yeah, uh, if you have any questions, you can, you can let me know. I'll post uh, or respond. You know, I'll always respond uh, on, this, on this topic. Alright guys, have a nice day and see you later. Bye bye.